Severe weather could mean storm warnings. And for the past 50 years, meteorologists have pretty much used the same technology for those warnings. But tonight, CBS 17 meteorologist Paul Hagan takes us inside the Severe Storm Prediction Center that's in Oklahoma, where researchers are working on a better way to keep us safe. When thunderstorms threaten, meteorologists have used essentially one tool of communication for the last several decades, warnings. Severe thunderstorm warning. Or hurricane warnings. Flash flood warnings. We just had two tornado warnings. The basic approach used by the National Weather Service hasn't changed much in the last 50 years, but now researchers like Holly Obermeyer are working on something new. We are testing a concept known as probabilistic hazards information. Essentially, we provide probabilities that a hazard like a tornado or hail or wind could occur in a certain time frame. I was invited to the National Weather Center in Norman, Oklahoma, to participate in the hazardous weather test beds research program. Broadcasters are one of the main communicators of warning. I went into full-time severe weather mode. Using data from real severe weather situations, I stood in front of a camera and talked, sent out social media updates, performed analysis, all while using the radar data that we already have and the experimental tools that researchers are working on. Well, this has allowed us to really build a good database of how this product could be used and what works and what doesn't work about it. This wasn't just a week of being a guinea pig at radar camp. I got a chance to figure out how to best use this new information. It's information that we're going to use along with the existing warning system. So instead of a static tornado warning like you see now, along with some radar data, you'll see frequently updated estimates on timing, placement, even numbers to indicate the chances of damaging weather. They should notice more information and potentially more specific location information. So that's the wonderful thing about probabilistic hazards is that you can kind of watch your trend and probability over time of, say, a tornado occurring in your location. That information will allow us to communicate which threat is the greatest concern for different communities in the path of severe weather. All of that sounds great, right? Unfortunately, you're not going to see it on TV just yet. Some of the concepts for this idea came about in uh, around 2008. And to give you an idea of when it could actually be operational in the National Weather Service, we're probably looking at sometime in the early 2020s. So until then, we'll keep using every tool available to us to keep you ahead of the storm. For CBS 17, I'm Storm Team Meteorologist Paul Hagen.